everybody, and welcome to an episode of FW Purgatory here in glorious St. Louis, Missouri, baby. And it's going to be great from here on out. We're back in the United States, and I'm joined once again by my man Jeff Beck. Jeff, how you doing? Looking good, feeling great, looking like we are in the Chase Park Plaza in St. Louis, Missouri, home of the classic wrestling franchise, Wrestling at the Chase. And here we go, first match in the new area. Tyler Ferguson joined by Bruno. Do we got to talk about Bruno? Everyone wants to talk about Bruno. Yeah, except me. Look at this guy. This he looks like Mojo Raleigh grew a head of hair. <laughs> Bruno is here. Rich Money Enterprise in the building. Tyler Ferguson, former world champion, the Fallen Angel with. Rich Money Enterprise. We're making their way to the ring now. Chris Chaos. And Daniel Roberts. They call him the British Badass. At the moment, I call him one after the FMW Tag Team Champions. Chris Chaos and Daniel Roberts holding the Tag Team Titles, which have the new logos and the new emblems on them. Looks fantastic. And the arena looks amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new era for Fat Money Wrestling. New era for Purgatory. And I hope you guys are ready with Jeff Beck at the helm and Brad Miller with game. I, I don't know. Sky's the limit, I guess. I, I am a little upset we are, uh, we are here at ringside now, but it is what it is. Wouldn't it be something, Lee, if these rich money enterprise fools were able to come up with a win over the tag team champions here to the night? What would that do for rich money enterprise? Would rich money enterprise be able to take that win, go all the way to Hardcore Haven, and become tag team champions? Well, Tyler Ferguson is a multiple-time tag team champion alongside his partner, Crunkman, but that is new, not who he is tagging with tonight. Tonight, he has to rely on Bruno. And once again, Rich Money Enterprise is going right for the ref. I don't, I don't know what... Why do you guys want to get yourself a $30,000 fine? Every week. Didn't you say something about Rich sent the check in early this week? I, I didn't know what the check was for. Now oh. I understand. 40000 this time. Send me another one. Tyler. Gonna keep raising every time it's done. Oh! Oh! Daniel Roberts and Tyler Ferguson going hand in hand. We've seen Daniel, Rob Daniel Roberts go one on one with Rich. It's went either way. And now we're gonna see him kind of have a little bit of moment with the former world champion, Jeff. Is there anything you would like to throw in about this scenario, this arrangement here, this, these two men in the ring right now? I got nothing. Oh! And for once, Jeff Beck is drawing a blank. That is surprising to me. Daniel Roberts, oh, he went for a close eye, but Blocked by Tyler Ferguson, the fallen angel now from behind. Oh, and Daniel Roberts thrown to the back of his head, back of his shoulders. Jeff, 
and tags in Bruno, and here comes Bruno. Oh, but Daniel Roberts turned him inside out. Wasting no time getting straight to the punch. Daniel Roberts going to tag in Chris Chaos now. Oh, and Chris Chaos is no stranger to Bruno as he goes for a nice DDT. Pretty safe to say that they despise one another. Beautiful shoulder breaker. And Bruno might want to tag in Tyler Ferguson right now. Dodging chaos, but did not dodge the big boot. Ate that, and now he's about to be on the receiving end of... Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Right outside the ring. That does not feel anywhere near good, and chaos going to taunt the crowd. Bides his time, waits for Bruno to get in. Spent too much time in the corner, eating knees right into the midsection at the hands of Bruno. All the pressure that he could possibly put right on the chest. Jumps up and diving knees right, or diving feet, that is, right into the chest. Tag Tyler Ferguson in, looking to make his mark on Chris Chaos, that being a physical one. Going for the cover, Tyler Ferguson. One, no kick out. Not good enough yet. Big right hand and Chaos taking control once more of Tyler Ferguson. You know, starting the show with such a huge match, it makes me wonder, makes me question what is to follow tonight. I mean, we got JMR versus Rich up next. Next match after that is a one-on-one -on -one Extreme Rules winner gets a shot at the Extreme title at Hardcore Haven. That's X versus Murphy. And then match four. You got Braxton versus Brad Miller. Oh, oh, look at this. Chris Chaos is about to put Tyler Ferguson over the handlebars. One broke up by Bruno. Sorry, I got so excited. Fourth match, Braxton gets to go one-on-one -on -one with Brad Miller. And then fifth match, Crunkman versus Sander Cool. Sixth match is a one on one. Michaels versus Butcher, a one two. Caught by the rope there. Rope break. Daniel Roberts can't believe it. He's arguing with the ref. Chris Chaos is in the ring. Tyler Ferguson is laid down on the mat. Sixth match, Michaels versus Butcher, one on one. Main event, one on one, is Venom versus Joseph Robinson. This is going to be a heck, a heck of a night. A heck of a night. So, Lee, we got to get you in Detroit sometime soon. You got to see this Brain Buster Academy, man. Well, you know, I'd, I'd love to see it. I'd love to be there. Uh, as long as Brad Miller's not there. Brad Miller's not going to be there, right? No, his face is right up on the wall. Not allowed. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. Oh, Tyler Ferguson in the corner. Dana Roberts. Oh, oh, oh. You remember when Brad um, Miller used to be our bosses? You used, to, you used to have basically the same job I did, except for your creative stuff. And then now look at you. GM. And I'm preparing to step in the ring so I can kick Brad Miller's ass. That's why I've been at the academy. I got an iron clawed contract. I'm basically untouchable. Except for now I'm down here at ringside, which means I'm touchable. Go for the cover, Tyler Ferguson. One, two, no. Tyler Ferguson cannot believe that Daniel Roberts is still in this. I can't believe it. Jeff Beck can't believe it. The crowd is in disbelief. Everyone's on their feet, except for those couple guys right there in the front row. What, what are you doing? Oh, Daniel Roberts. Oh, off the ropes. Clothesline. So, I was just handed a note to take a look up at the skybox. No. 
Can you guess who's there? The fucking goat. Is it the goat? Fucking goat. God damn it! Oh! Knee to Chris Chaos and Bruno! Hands up. Bruno is very happy with himself. You know, I'm not surprised. I, I, I'm, I'm not surprised. You know what does surprise me? The guy in the black pants over there showed up this week. That surprises me. Going for the cover. One. Kick out. Yeah, you know, left corner on the... Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. That just knocked chaos flat. And that just pissed him off. Poor Bruno. You know? Chris Chaos is running Bruno corner to corner. And just introduced the kitchen sink to the matchup. Oh, cover! One, two, broke it up by Tyler. Tyler and Daniel Roberts, oh, over the top rope. Tyler goes to Daniel Roberts, going after Tyler. Bruno and Chris Chaos in the ring. This could be the moment, this could be the time. Bruno just has to pin Chris Chaos right here, right here, right here. One, two, three, no! That would have been the most opportune time to get the win. Right there, Jeff. Right there. Could have been the moment. The moment Rich Money Enterprise needs, Jeff. They need this. Oh! He hasn't given up yet. He's keeping the pressure on. Oh! Of the middle rope. Beautiful forearm. Gotta stop taunting. Gotta stick to the plan. Here we go. Oh! Had to have known he was going to reverse at some point. Spear again. There's cover. One, two. Broken up by Daniel Roberts. The other half of the tag team champions there to make the save. And Bruno has both of them up. Look at this. Well, that takes care of Roberts for the time being. That was a mistake. If he wanted another chance to get the pin, that was his chance. I don't know what's going on here, Jeff, but Bruno just smacked the head of Chris Chaos right off the post. And he's paying for it with the DDT right now. Chris Chaos in the ring, and this, this is the difference maker right here. Chris Chaos on his feet, and what's going to happen? Tag into Daniel Roberts, and Tyler Ferguson is in to meet him. Oh, my Lord, turned inside out. Went for the leg drop. <laughs> Tyler got out of the way. Twice. Went for another one again. Tyler Ferguson. Blood rush into the head. You know, he may not have the physique that he had originally. He may not be all muscular. One, two, kick out Danny Roberts. But Tyler Ferguson is no stranger to strength. He has everything he needs in that little body of his. And now to the back of Danny Roberts, he falls. Oh. Thrown to the floor, or to the mat, rather. Kick it, to the... Is this the first match? Oh! Yeah. Daniel Roberts looking for Chris Chaos, but unfortunately, he is not looking the right direction. Oh! He is in the wrong side of town, as it were. 
backdrop. Here we and go. Ferguson wasting no effort. Go ahead, you call this one, Lee. Oh, and there it is, weathered leather! One, two, no! Daniel Roberts is out. Daniel Roberts is out. Oh, he's coming too. He's coming too. Spine buster. Breaks free, follows up. And now, oh, punch to the face. Tyler Ferguson has Roberts. Oh, Lord. Drops him on the apron. Not where you want to be. You do not want to be on the receiving end of what Tyler Ferguson has to offer right now. I mean, I thought this was just going to be a classic tag team match, but this, this has been so much more, Jeff. A little bit of shit talking there coming from the mouth of Ferguson, but he's paying for it right now, and Chaos isn't on the apron to support Daniel Roberts. RME has to capitalize on that right now. Bruno is up. Daniel Roberts put his back to Bruno. Smart move, and there it is! Advantage gone. Daniel Roberts... Bruno seen the I think because Tyler's hand was on the ropes I think Daniel Roberts seen it and just let go Jeff oh nonetheless Bruno did not go to help his teammate Tyler Ferguson tagging in Bruno and Roberts tagging in Chris Chaos DDT After you know, two or three of those, I would reverse at some point. DDT again. RME is one, uh, the last match. And so they are number one contenders for the tag titles. So uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Brad, who just relayed that information to me. Uh, yeah, they, they, they're already going to Hardcore Haven to fight for the tag titles. This match is really just... Oh, to weaken each other before the pay-per-view. I'm one, two, three. Army just pick Chris Chaos. Bruno just hey. pinned Chris Chaos. Hey, Brad. Playing the wrong song, bud. <laughs> he is. <laughs> um, apparently Brad didn't expect RME to win this match. I mean, neither did I, but I would still cue the sound guy. Thank you. Fucking Brad. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to a match that will hopefully have the music right. JMR versus Chris Rich. Well, you got to hand it to Chris Rich. Lately, he's had all the answers. We found the right combination for Bruno and Tyler Ferguson. They're on track to becoming the FMW Tag Team Champions at Hardcore Haven. And if Chris Rich can come away with a victory over JMR tonight, he can count himself in the full honor championship match at Hardcore Haven. Now imagine both of them came out with their respective title wins. That's what he's on track to. JMR stands in the way. In chaos have lost twice 
so it's not looking too good for them. How does Chris Rich play it out from here? Uh, Brad wants to talk to me real quick. Uh, Jeff, you got this? Yeah, I got this. And turning to face the crowd, now you have the former FMW Grand Champion. FMW's only Rise of a King tournament winner. And the man who helms Rich Money Enterprises, Christopher Rich. And as I just said, he has had everything falling into favor for him since he lost the FMW Grand Championship. As he put it, when one door closes, another door opens. And this door leads to success, not just for him, but for RME as a whole. And he's happier if the whole team's winning rather than just himself. But tonight he's going he's going out for himself to get himself an opportunity at the full honor championship at this coming pay-per-view. Or uh sorry Brad, premium live event. Yeah, that. Sorry about that, I'm back. Ladies and gentlemen, former grand champion, King Rich, in the ring, JMR. This is going to be... The current full honor champion. You know, uh, I think this this would be like the I, I, multi-week in a row that JMR, if he, if he puts on a five-star match here, that he's put on five-star matches. Oh! Oh! Look, just because Dave Meltzer put it over when it was in Japan does not mean that he's going to put it over when it's in America. How many five-star matches have happened in America? Go ahead, Google that one real quick. Now compare that number to Japan. Oh, twisted yeah. neck breaker. Rich is lighting up the full honor champion. Make the most of the time that you have early on in the match. Pepper them up early. Weaken everything you possibly can to be able to exploit later on in the match. And to some degree, you, uh, you want to pin your opponent early, not because you think you have the win, but almost as a moment of pride, as in, I could have had you right there. JMR is now retook in control, and he is going to town on the former grand champion. Which, you know, from backstage watching on the monitors when we were calling this, to sitting here, th them tights are bright. One! Kick out. Yeah. I could say something, but at the same time, I'd have to roast Robinson. You seen that motherfucker wearing glitter to the ring, dog? Is that what that was? On the tights, on the, on the little vest, yeah. Glitter. Grown man wearing glitter. Man, he came. Weird. So you know how he's been helping me stay at places. You know, because in Japan didn't have a house, and here in St. Louis I definitely don't have anywhere to stay. So I, he, he's been helping me out. Uh, he took me to this house. There was glitter everywhere, everywhere, glitter everywhere, all over the freaking room. I, oh! Rich is going to town. Stay out of the east side of St. Louis. There ain't nothing oh! for you over oh, there. Oh! Oh! Backstabber! Jesus. Backstabber! Backstabber! 
JMR knows what he has to do. Top rope, Jeff, and this could be the difference maker. Oh, nobody home. Rich was looking for it. Bam. JMR wasn't looking for that. He's not done yet. But that might have just cost him the match. One move away. And oh, God, what was that? That was new. That's what that was. JMR, oh, clothesline from Rich. JMR just gave that his all. Oh, but look at this. Million dollar driver. One, two, no. Incredibly frustrating for Chris Rich, but he's got to stay the course. He has to keep the fight going. Not he enough. cannot give up right now. To put away the comeback kid, JMR. Oh, look at that. J JMR has had nothing but obstacle after obstacle in his path. Oh, go for cover one, two. He just got done dealing with the hit squad and Venom. Venom went on to different things after being defeated by JMR. JMR re-earning his full honor championship that Venom first stole illegally. We'll, we'll just say it, illegally. And then, oh, look at the face of JMR, Jeff. Oh! Cover! Uh, his first challenger, what even happened to Kyle Cook? The Cherry Park hero stuck at home thanks to Rich. Called himself a hero. Into the top rope, Maverick. Oh, he's going to go for it. Maverick elbow again, but nobody home. Oh, that one really hurt, Jeff. That one really hurt. For the second time, Rich follows up. That cash out driver. I mean, he completely drains his opponent. One, two, kick out. Complete disbelief on the face of Chris Rich. What? Goes for a follow-up pin anyway. He's got to be even more devastated by that. JMR rolled the up. kick out at JMR, one. JMR backstabber. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. One, two, no. JMR to the top rope and right here, he could be. Everything he wants to be when he's in the air. Maverick elbow. One, two, three. JMR wins. That has got to be unfortunate for Chris Rich. He thought he had everything going into Hardcore Haven figured out. All he had to do was win here tonight. Wait, no, it's on I guess it's you know, this evens okay. them out well, one like and one. I don't know what it's going to happen at Hardcore Haven, but we know at the end of it, somebody is walking away with the win, and we're going to have a great show. But look how bad the Maverick is hurt. He's going to have to suck it up if he wants to retain his championship on Hardcore Haven. Such is the life of a champion. Well, here we go. Next match on the card. And we have X taking on Steve Murphy Extreme Rules. <coughs> this guy, uh... He's something. But is he enough to put away Steve Murphy here tonight to guarantee himself the number one contendership to the Extreme Championship? 
that remains to be seen. Personally, I'm not a believer. I think we're going to have another chapter of Murphy versus Triple C. But I could be surprised. I've been surprised before. You know, in that triple threat that we had just last week, Jeff, I thought multiple times Triple C was out of it even before X was eliminated that night. 56 and two-third percent chance, Lee. There was no way that Triple C was walking out without that title. Talk about scratch and clawed and fought and bled to hold on to it. But here's a man that is no stranger to violence, no stranger to having to make his way back to the top. And that is Steve Murphy. And tonight, Steve Murphy has that opportunity to be once again in the ring across from Triple C who he has multiple wins over. Triple C just recently getting one over him. Sorry, two now. And so will Murphy be able to pin Triple C at Hardcore Haven if he gets through X here tonight? That's a big question. And the same question goes for X. The only person that I've seen have an answer for the book out is Triple C. And here we go. Oh! X started oh, out with a bang. The match. Go for the cover one. No. Not even a one. You got to do more to take out the blackout machine. Nah, that doesn't work. Scratch that. Oh, into the ropes Jesus. off of him. Cover one. Second front flip heel kick of the night. Didn't think I'd ever say that before. Oh. Oh, God. One. X is bringing a whole new strategy I don't, I don't think i've ever seen anyone oh look at this murphy oh sit down power bomb oh x missed yeah you definitely ate shit there lee oh god All right, now we are on to the broken weapon counter part of the evening. This is the part I like, Lee. My favorite thing to keep count of. I don't know how many bro more broken weapons X is going to be able to stand if Murphy keeps going at it. Murphy is just in a rage. He swung twice and missed and still somehow got a hold of X. And Murphy is still... Oh, Murphy! Oh, X. Man, back and forth here. X he is off the rope. Tail and oh, ran. he missed. Off the back. Oh. X is to the middle rope and a drop kick. Oh, and that clothesline definitely did not miss. Feeling himself, but he's got to stay on target. And Murphy made his way back to his feet, unbeknownst to X. And oh, look at that flatliner! And that's why you got to pay attention. One, two. Getting a win over Murphy is not light work. Oh, Murphy might have been looking for that blackout, but X prepared. Oh! X marks the spot. One, two, kick out somehow, Murphy. 
Crowd chanting fight forever. Oh! What the? What the fuck? X is now under the ring looking for a weapon as well. And what is X going to pull out here? He heard the crowd. He's giving them what they wanted, Jeff. But he's not done yet. I think Murphy, uh, Murphy said he was done, Jeff. Mur Murphy said uh, no more. Oh, off his back. X just took out the knee of Murphy. Yeah, X said he's uh, he's not done. Oh, in the ring. It's out now. They are fighting over the weapon. Well, I guess not really because Murphy doesn't want nothing to do with that, but he was going to set up the table maybe. Oh, look at that. Oh. X bringing Jesus. a whole new style to FMW. Oh, caught. Table wasn't fully set up. Murphy just dumped him. Oh, Murphy again going to, oh! Oh, God! Look at that no sell. Jesus Christ, he's selling the shit out of that, though. Look at him. You know, sometimes these boys just be jumping right back up after something that would have definitely laid me out. And then you see him get hit again, and then you see, like, all the pain come together at once. And it's just truly remarkable what these men will put themselves through to walk out at the end of the day as a winner. Right now, things are flying. Oh! Oh! X? X was not giving up. Oh. But Murphy has the stick. Now it broke it over the head of X. We're at two. How many broken weapons normally happens in a Murphy match? If you know, go ahead and comment below because I'd love to see it. 2.4 is the average. Oh! Oh, look at X. X has that steel chair. Oh, they both missed. Back and forth. These men want this opportunity. The question is who wants it more? Oh, Jeff. Kendo, oh! That kendo stick had no chance in hell. Oh, look at that. Oh! Front flip, heel kick for the, th what, fourth time tonight? Oh, and he's got that steel chair in hand. Oh! Murphy knocked him on the ropes. Cover. One, two. Oh, and look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. 
Blackout! One! Two! Two. No way. Not good enough. How? Flatliner! That could do it. Oh, Murphy! Blackout! That's it. Could not be avoided tonight, Lee. Wow, I think Murphy had enough games at that end. Flatliner, blackout, flatliner, blackout. Murphy is going to Hardcore Haven, and he is going to fight for the extreme title. Well, here's a match I'm excited for, Jeff. As am I. For two reasons, Lee. One, I don't have to hear that nitwit I'm in my ear. And two, I get to see said nitwit get his ass kicked by Braxton. How did you even pull this off? You'd have to know anything. Because if you know, then you become an accomplice. Well, nonetheless, Brad Miller is about to be out here and he's taking on the veteran that is Braxton. Who has promised me he's not going to take it easy on Brad Miller? Brad Miller has screwed Braxton every which way but in the bedroom if you get my drip. And here he is. And Jeff, it looks like he brought some of his boys with him from VWE. Uh, it would be uh, Van Sicily Aldo and Ralph Beginnis. Who are you intimidating? Look at your helmet. You look like a 1930s footballer. Come on, just get in the ring. You're embarrassing yourself. Is he copying Isaac Irving? It'd be a shame if he ran into Isaac in a dark part of the building, wouldn't it? I gotta it say, Jeff, happen. I love the remodel. This new logo, look at that logo. Bell has rung Braxton and Brad Miller. Oh! What's that thing he has on his head, Jeff? Um, I know what I call it, but I'm not allowed to call it that on television. But it's a certain helmet. Okay. Starts with the letter R. Ah. Oh, look at this. Braxton. Oh! He doesn't like it when you call it that. 
<coughs> and Braxton is laying in. Oh, to Brad Miller. Hard. <coughs> As promised, not taking it easy. Oh, look at this. Brad just busted open the face of Braxton. I can tell you who's really pissed off about, about that. Who? Braxton. Oh! Braxton is back up and things are heated right now. Steps through. Oh, I love this part. Stuck it, Brad. Oh, Braxton to the top rope, but there's Ralph. It, oh, God. Brad somehow. He hasn't had enough. Kicked out. Give him some more. Oh. Give him some more. Oh, there it is. Braxton side. Enough. One, two, no. Give him some more. Braxton might be looking for the twisted hammer. There it is, twisted hammer. One, two. Three! That'll be good. So how was that, Lee? Was that entertaining or what? You think he's gonna maybe take the rest of the night off? Nope. He gets 10 minutes. And then he's going to be back in our ear. And if he isn't, he isn't getting paid for tonight. Congratulations to Braxton. You know what I happen to know for a fact, Lee? What? The lady that's going to stitch him up once he gets backstage is going to take 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and all that took was an extra 100 bucks. Well, here we go. Next match of the night. Crunk Man is here in the ring, and you know what that means, Jeff. I can never quite read this guy. Try to talk to him backstage. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm friends with the. Uh, Michaels, I don't know. This guy, this guy's approachable. And he is damn sure a rising star oh, in FMW. What? What's going on? Grunk man doesn't want to wait. Oh, Jeez. Xander caught off guard. Xander had no idea what was going on. That's unfortunate for Xander. Hopefully he's got an idea now. Looks like he does. Xander was wrestling in there, finally got away. And now Xander, oh! Get the spotlight off the steel, you idiot. Open oh, there, there there's, there's Brad. Oh! 
Oh! Is yeah, Brad cuts Brad. new out? Is he cuts new out? Possibly. You better not be talking to me like that. Oh! He's mad because he just found out how long it's going to take him to get stitches. Oh! Sander! Throws Crunk against the ropes. Oh, drop kick. One, one, one foot. One. Not enough to put away. Oh, the workhorse of FMW. Into the corner. Sander reversed. Crunk man coming out. Kick. Crunk man. Oh, reversed by Sander. Sander clothesline. Cover. Kick out. Kick out before the count of one. One. Kick out. Caught. Crookman now coming back at Sander. Oh, backbreaker. Super kick. Super kick. One. So, in a recent magazine, they mentioned Sander Cool as one of the. Oh, look at that! Sander just planted! Crunk, man! This could be it! Foot under the rope, not gonna be enough. But they, they, they called Sander FMW's Rising Star. Indeed they did. I was referencing that right before he was getting, oh. uh, right before he got caught off guard. Oh! The drunk man's impatience kind of took precedent. I, b I believe you were mentioned in that article as well, Jeff. Oh! Probably distastefully. Um, see, I'm not one of Meltzer's buddies. Oh! The Starlight taking Crunkman to town, and I, and I don't know if Crunkman was prepared for this kind of a battle out of the Starlight. No matter what he expected, he has to rise to the occasion tonight and put away the blue starlight. I think Crunkman was looking to make an example out of Starlight, but instead, well, we ended up here. And look at this. Sander Cool. Oh! And here he is at risk of becoming the example. Oh, hey, we kept the count. Well, yeah, it's still a tribute. It's just not in Japan anymore. Oh, kick to the head. Look at this. Starlight flip. Oh, and a submission hold. Not going to count on the outside of the ring. Oh, Sander tried to not crunk out. 18. 19, and Sander slid in. Tripped up Crunk Man, but Crunk Man ready. 
Owen Wasn't again. That. Starlight flip. <laughs> the world champ prepared for that one. Sander Cool in his pocket holds a shot at Holiday Hell. And that, that is something to remember. Whoever champion he chooses. And then also Hangman Johnny Gage holds the extreme case. That's got to weigh heavily on the back of any champion's mind. I got a theory here, Lee. If the blue starlight is able to put away Crunk Man tonight, he should be able to do it again at Hardcore Haven after becoming number one contender. And oh. at Holiday Hell, he could challenge the Grand Champion and have both belts if he won there. Just food for thought. Two! Blue Starlight's still alive in this match. Knows what he has in front of him. Knows he can't pass up the opportunity to have two belts. Went to the well, came up dry. Oh, Sander was looking for an opening, and Crookman gave him something Nothing. to think about. <laughs> oh, what's this? Crookman! Oh, Meltzer's going to love this. Oh! Oh, there he is. Wait, what? What's going on? Sanders' eyes are closed. He's tapping. Nothing? Oh, Sander. Sander used it as a ploy. Now Krungman's in the ring. Krunkman going to town. No, Sander ducked it. Caught. Over. DDT. Sanders swinging wildly. Giving it everything he's got. He has to. Oh. Crunk man looks like he might have been looking for a turn the page. Oh, what's this? Starlight flip. One, two, three. Sander Cool just pinned Krunkman. And with this, he finds himself a rare opportunity. Does Sander Cool get added to the match? at Hardcore Haven, or does he get his own? I guess that's something management's gonna have to figure out. Well, he has himself a match at Hardcore Haven. The question is, are we gonna see the same thing then as we did tonight? Look who it is. Empire of Pain have made their presence known as they make their way to the ring now. 
ball, two of them. And I think for the first time since their tag team match last year at Hardcore, yeah, at Hardcore Haven, I believe it was, Butcher finds himself equaled in power and strength. And this is rare. This isn't an everyday occurrence for Butcher. This is something he's going to have to adjust. Wait, why is Triple C talking to the officials? What what Triple C just say to you, Jeff? Nothing. Triple Triple C's getting in the ring. Wait, what's What's going on? They they're attacking Butcher. What is going on here, Jeff? For the greater good, Lee. Oh, lights are out! Whoa! Hey! Hey, that's Hanged Man! That's Hanged Man! What the fuck? Hangman Johnny Gage is in the ring! Butcher's trying to pin Triple C. I, I don't know what's going on here. We're going to have to uh, get officials down here, get this broken up. This isn't a match. This isn't a match. Oh, God. They tried to jump Butcher and well that that didn't work out with Hangman on the same roster. No. I will have Hangman Johnny Gage's job for this. Now we uh we move to the main event. Yo, Brooklyn, what up though? Bobby Boy. Bobby B, you go, only the O's. Go home, yeah. Look, I do not trip over Cardi's, I get to the bridge they be all on my mind. Sipping belly of a cardi, and it's straight if I'm up in the party. Mommy begging me to dance with her. But I ain't come here to dance, nigga. I took some chips with some cardi, she get the breach, so I'm taking some. And you have heard Robinson say to multiple people on multiple different outlets and platforms that his loss last week to Venom was a fluke. Tonight, he gets to put action to work. Nobody else to blame but himself if he loses here tonight. The only solace for Robinson is the title is not on the line tonight. People saying we shitting. She picked the chick, I put the trick, and I'm picking the positions. If it's doggy style, I'm grabbing elbows. Porn star shit in my shell toes. Put this rip six pack on the big bitch back. Am I going to lick that nigga? Hell no. Hell no. I do not trip over Cardi's. I get to the bridge, they be all on my body. Venom is a unique breed, and I, I don't think there'll ever be anyone quite the same as him again. But if you would have to say that there's been anyone close, it's the man making his way to the ring right now. Shut up, 
the FMW Grand Champion. Did Brad just say he was fired? I wish. Who do you think hired him? It wasn't me. I hired Talon. Hey, Brad is saying the announcer's fired. This, this might be the last night you guys hear the announcer. But anyway, Joseph Robinson, your FMW Grand Champion in the ring right now. And all his glitter and glory. And here we go. Oh! Starting off with a bang. That's, uh, that's new out of Robinson. That's something you rarely see out of him. But you're going to have to pull things that you uh, haven't used in a while or have never used before in order to get a win over a guy like Venom. What an arm drag from Venom. Taking to the top rope. Calls Robinson to his feet. We're going to say the turnbuckle was slippery. Oh, kick to the back of the head. Robinson off the rope. Oh, check this out. Oh! That's something he's been showing me at the academy lately. That was exactly the way that he showed me in the ring. And believe me, it hurts. Venom looks like he may be having a tough time here against the grand champion. Little bit of trash talk, Robin following up after the F10. Kicks to the back of the head. And again! Effectively, it's like a packaged German after an Enzigiri. Robinson is lighting Venom up. One, two, no. Venom sweeps the leg. I think the only silver lining that anybody can find when you're being pinned is that if you kick out early enough, you can break the will of your opponent. Went for the double stop, nobody home. Poison Rana. Goes for the pin quickly. One, two. No dice. Up. Down. One, two. No. He didn't become the first FMW world champion for nothing. Oh! Middle rope Phoenix splash. That could be it. What? Staying the course, not even taking the time to taunt. This is a very focused Robinson. Oh! Oh! Oh, Venom missed. Missed the punt. Into the Koji clutch. Robinson has Venom right where he wants him, and this could be the end of the line. 
I think Venom. But Venom is a tough nut to crack. Venom moved a little bit. Looks like maybe Robinson slipped. Oh, oh, and again. What's Robinson doing? Taking a moment to think over the battle plan. Whoa, 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 Robinson, Robinson. There, there's DQ. Robinson. Ref took the chair away. To the turnbuckle and thrown into the middle of the ring. Caught the leg. Closed lined him outside of the ring. And Robinson taken to the top rope. Oh! Pays dearly for that mistake. And now he's paying interest. Alabama Slammer! Oh, God. Venom busted open by the post in again. What's an episode of Purgatory without the middle finger to the fans? How many has he thrown tonight? Enough oh! to get us thrown off of USA. I thought Stone Cold was back in business. Jesus. Robinson happy with himself. As Venom making his way back to his feet. Venom caught it. DDT. Snake eyes. Venom reverses. Venom going to the top rope. Oh, nobody home. Oh, Robinson missed. Venom held onto the ropes. Oh, look at that. There we go. Taste of Venom one, two. Kick out. Not quite enough just yet. Roll up. One. Robinson willing to get a win by hook, by crook, or by Koji clutch for the second time he locks it in. He might have success with it here. He did enough damage the first go around and all the... All the extra damage applied outside the ring. But Venom fighting through, gets free, elbow to the face. Applying torque to the knee and the hamstring at once while twisting the ankle. Venom somehow came back from near exhaustion. God. The leg of Robinson. Oh no. Kick. This could be it, Jeff. One, two. Quick two count. Another taste of Venom. One, two. 
This one just before the three, Venom showing his frustration. But he knows what he needs to do to finish Robinson. Take his head off. Oh! Or stomp it in. I wasn't meaning literally. Going after the arm again. Or sorry, the hand. Venom is not letting up on the grand champion. Cover. Robinson is not dead yet. Oh, kick up. Back to his feet. Submission hold, and this could be it. Venom looks like he's in nowhere he could go, and he's going to pass out right here. No? Fights free for the third time tonight. Clothesline by Robinson. Robinson just flipped off Venom. Robinson has the chair. Oh, God. Got it this time, Venom. That's going to be all the time we have tonight. I'm Jeff Beck. And I'm Lee Dark. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.